into a new computer art tutorial. What we're going to get into today is creating a design like a radial design or a mandala design that shows uh, the principle of design being unity. So a mandala design like one like this uh, would be a, considered a symbol of unity as the design kind of carries around in a consistent sort of pattern and kind of ties together all the pieces fit together. So, um, so yeah, so let's get into showing how we can create a design like this uh, using Pixlr. So we'll go ahead and click Create New. I'm going to want to choose the Square HD option here and we'll call this project Unity and click Create. So what we need to do first is create a triangular area for us to put our design in. So we're going to take our polygon lasso. I want to start by first clicking right on the corner here of this first pixel, right? And then what I'm going to do is bring this to the center. And the way I'll know it's in the center is by watching these X and Y. So I want it to be at 540 and 540, which is half of 1080, right? So once I get this into the center, the X and Y should say 540 and 540. So my X is almost good. My Y, I need to go down a little bit further to get it right in the center. So this is a bit of a, a balancing beam type of moment here. And you do, you want it to get pretty darn close on the money. So see if you can get it to be okay so that's pretty good 541 that's pretty good I'm gonna take it alright so then straight up to this point I want it to be at 540 and 0 for the Y so you can just go right off the page basically but yeah so 541 540 that should be fine cool click and then one more click back here to close and then I have my triangle set up to put my design and then we're basically just going to reflect or repeat that going around in a circle here. So at this point now, we can just kind of take our brush tool or uh, any drawing tool you want to use and basically just kind of fill this space up with all the color you can do. So I could start with just about any color here. And I'll just start with a regular brush. Just choose a random color and go ahead and kind of fill this up with some lines and colors. All right, you could fill it with gradients if you want to fill it with a gradient too. That's actually a pretty good way to start. All right, so I could fill a background with a gradient. And then um, actually what I'll do then is take my um, brush tool and I'll use a different color. So I'll take something that will stand out like this yellow. And I'll just do some lines kind of like going back and forth, cutting across this uh, triangle gradient that I've got going. Again, I'll switch up my brush. Switch up your brush, feel free to use any of the kind of fun shapes you got going on in here. So maybe I'll do some of these star shapes. I can choose a color like teal or blue, something like that. And do a couple of these type shapes going through. Um, you know, you can, um, the other tool we can maybe use is the pen tool over here. So experiment with some of these pen lines. So maybe do like, I know the trail line and the shaded line are pretty good ones. But yeah, play around with just kind of filling the space. I'm going to go up and turn the amount up and the size up on the trail brush because I think that will kind of get me more of the effect I was going for. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. All right. Um, you know, and then once you feel like you've done enough mark making to kind of make an interesting uh, design that could be repeated uh, around, and then you are pretty much ready to go. So I'll just throw one more. Um, one more type of line in here and uh, just kind of try to add one more color is what I was thinking so this is looking pretty good I'd say I packed just about as much as I would want to in there maybe I want to get one more pen line but I want it to be the same color of this yellow so I'm going to use my eyedropper tool to pick that same yellow color again because sometimes it's really tricky to get to just find that same color. And then, um, you know, I could add maybe one or two more of these type of shapes with that color because I felt like I covered up some of it there. All right, so my design is set, ready to uh, copy it over and paste it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit Command C and Command V to copy and paste that selection area. And now I have this one on a new layer. 
I'm just going to move it up to the top here and then I'm going to go to the edit menu, click transform, and I'm going to flip it horizontally. All right, so that kind of flips that over and connects it together. All right, looks pretty good. So what I'll do now is take both of these and I'm going to merge them. So I'm going to go ahead and merge down so that this becomes one triangle that then I can flip and flip again. And so I'm going to go again, edit. Oh, actually, first I have to copy and paste it. So I'm going to go Command C, Command V. Oops. Control Z to um, maybe what I'll try and do instead is duplicate it. So I can right click and go to duplicate layer. And then what I end up with is a second um, copy here. And then I'll go to edit and transform. And this time I want to choose uh, flip horizontal. Whoops, it's jumping away on me. <laughs> there we go. Make sure I touch all the parts of the menu there. All right, and then just snap this kind of in on the bottom side here. All right, good to go. I'm gonna duplicate one more time, duplicate this layer. And then I just need to rotate this one. So I'll go edit, transform, and I can rotate uh, clockwise or counterclockwise. It just would go in the other spot. And so this is looking pretty good. Um, all right, well, I'll duplicate one more time. Slide it over here a little bit, and then I'm gonna go edit and transform and um, and this one I'm actually going to flip horizontally right flip horizontal to fit and good to just use those uh, transform controls because it will rotate things exactly the precise amount you need them to rotate rather than trying to just rotate using kind of like your selection tool and clicking and then like rotating like this um, this will ensure that you really get things placed well in the right spots so there we go. That's it for this uh, this particular Pixlr lesson. Uh, make sure we go ahead and file save your project as either JPEG or PNG called Unity, and then hit download, and we are good to go. Make sure you submit on Google Classroom, and we are all set. All right, guys. Hope you have fun and uh, and luck getting creative with your own Unity Mandala drawing.